Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Havoc OS version 4.8 based on Android version 11 for the Redmi Note 3. So guys, let's begin. As you guys can see here, the Havoc OS version is 4.8 and the Android version here it is running is Android 11 which is just amazing that uh, the Redmi Note 3 is getting so many ROMs on Android 11 which are working fine and the ROMs are not bad they are working fine and usable as a daily driver security patch level we get here is the 5th of August 2021 the previous month one the kernel here is shine lotus kernel so yes these were the specifications of the havoc OS this is the Android 11 settings page just the same this is the home screen this is the quick setting panel the design here is just android 11 this is the power menu everything here is great going to the settings in this system these are the options available no new options available here and we get to see the option for system updates i haven't received any update since i had flashed this rom so yes and we get to see the advanced control for which is just the same you can turn on the me sound enhancer from here the display color calibration the performance settings everything here is available then moving forward to the security the fingerprint scanner here is working face unlock option here is available which is also working fine no issues with the fingerprint scanner the screen lock and everything you also get to see the app locker available here which is also just great then moving back we going to the sound and vibration here also everything is the same this is the volume panel we get to see this is how it looks just like the stock android 11 rom in the vibration and haptics these are the options available the these are the vibration patterns available which is great and you also get to see the in call haptics like the vibrate to indicate call status then this is these are all just the same options available going back going to the display options these are the options the adaptive brightness styles and wallpapers are option the live display font size and everything the double tap to wake option here is available which is working fine as you can see the double tap to wake option here is working otherwise there is there no new options then moving forward to the battery here the battery backup on this room here is very bad i must just say so this is the battery life i got from 84 percent to 18 percent battery drain i got 3 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time which is just an average battery backup it's yeah it's not that bad but it's just good battery backup and to charge from 23 percent to 85 percent it took 122 minutes so this ROM is taking a lot of time to charge the phone and also the phone heats up a lot while charging. So this is the problem I am facing that phone heats up a lot while charging and it takes a lot of time. Moving forward to the configuration center, these are all the customizations available. This is the 2GB RAM variant I have and there are all the features available and each and everything here is working fine, no issues. Going to the status bar customizations, these are the options clock logo brightness control the double tap to sleep here is available icon style and everything these are all just the havoc os customizations available so which are almost the same as android 10 one going to the quick settings customizations here are also the style you can adjust the columns and rows of the quick settings then going to the ambient display we get to see the always on display option available which is working but I just don't use it because of the LCD display then we get to see the double tap to check the phone notifications and everything the hand wave these are all the ambient display features available here then the buttons and navigation here we get to see the navigation bar like you can turn the navigation bar on and just switch to gesture navigation now the hardware buttons just don't work the gestures will work fine as you can see if you want to use the gestures then you can turn it on from here the hardware buttons will just get disabled if you turn them on and if you want to use both the hardware buttons and gestures then just go to the gestures and change the navigation system to gesture navigation and now both the hardware buttons and the gestures both of them will work at the same time 
so yes which is great and which i prefer then going back uh, the notifications option the edge lighting here is available which is working no issues with that too the notifications and everything the battery saving these were the customizations available and you also get to see the gaming mode the charging animation and everything so these are all the stuff available the customizations available for the havoc os now going to the home screen this is the home screen which i had just previously shown you this is the recent ui and you can just clear it all from here this is the ui of quick settings the here also everything here is working fine the mobile data wi-fi dark theme everything screen recorder also is working fine so there are no issues with the rom you can actually use this android 11 rom as a daily driver the only issue here is the battery charging time and the phone heats up a lot so yeah then talking about the camera this is the default camera we get to see the snapdragon cam which is working fine the google camera on this room here is just not working i had tried many tried installing many g cams but none of them are just working on this room so yes then talking about the performance here the performance on this room for day to day usage it's just great if you want to use this phone as a calling device only for calling the gaming performance here will be just okay phone is now not for gaming you can do average gaming but the there will be frame drops and lags and stutters so otherwise the performance is just great and talking about the geekbench scores i was not able to do the geekbench test every time i do a geekbench test the app just got forced closed after it, around 50 percent of geekbench was completed so yes the performance will be just average if you want to use this as a daily driver you can and you can perform the day-to-day -day tasks very easily like messaging and calls and everything otherwise you cannot do heavy tasks on this phone anymore talking about the safety net status the safety net status on this phone this room the havoc android 11 has passed and the banking apps will be just running perfectly fine so no issues with that too talking about bugs there are no almost no issues using this from 10 days and i have faced just once a reboot like the phone just got hanged and i had to reboot it so yes this was the only i had faced otherwise it's just running so far so good there are no issues with this room everything just works fine the double tap to sleep double tap to wake fingerprint scanner everything is just working fine there are just no issues only gcam is not working battery charging time is a bit more and the phone heats up a lot so yeah these were the only problems i had faced on this room otherwise everything is works fine so yes that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye